More than half the cats in the U.S. are overweight or obese, and most of us are feeding our cats wrong. 82% of us are feeding dry food either exclusively or most of the time. Seems obvious what the problem is. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho, and the first mistake that you're probably making with your overweight cat is free feeding. Free feeding is the all-access buffet, 24-7, whenever you want, eat when you want. A lot of cat parents tell me that their cat grazes on cat food all day, but this is not appropriate for cats because cats are hunters, not grazing cows. Free feeding doesn't work for cats because the more the cat eats, the hungrier the cat gets, the less satisfied they are, the more likely they are to overeat. This especially happens with dry cat food. Dry cat food is high in carbohydrates and that just fuels hunger and weight gain. A more appropriate feeding schedule would be two to three meals per day. So if you're feeding your cat all day long, leaving the bowl out whenever he wants to eat, I would suggest trying to go down to four meals a day and then slowly go down to three and then two meals a day. Another great thing you can do is use treat release toys or food puzzle toys. And that'll kind of entice your cat to work a little bit for his food. That can also get your cat a little active as well. You can hide his food around your apartment on top of condos, on top of ladders, and that'll help your cat get a little active to get his food. Now, I'm not saying to leave the treat release toys or the food puzzle toys out all day. I'm saying instead of putting it in the bowl or the plate, you can use these food puzzle toys during that specific meal time. Leaving food out all day is not good for your cat. It's also very unsanitary because the longer the food sits out, the more likely bacteria and mold and rancid fats are to grow. These feeder toys you can hide around your apartment and incentivize your cat to hunt and work for his food. And your cat will also get a little active in order to eat, which is great. So this is a much more normal and natural way for cats to eat, hunting around for their food rather than having an all access buffet. Because again, cats are hunters, not cows. How about everybody comments below, cats are hunters, not cows, so that more people can see this video and wonder why we're telling them that cats are hunters and not cows. <laughs> The second feeding mistake you're probably making if your cat is overweight is feeding dry food. Now, I already mentioned this before, dry food is extremely high in carbohydrates. And those carbohydrates, aka starchy ingredients, are necessary for kibble because that's what holds it together. That's what gives it that crunchy kibble shape that cats get addicted to. Carbohydrates are no good for cats because they are carnivores and their natural diet is about less than 10% carbs on a dry matter basis. But most dry cat foods average about 33% carbs on a dry matter basis. I've even seen as high as 49% carbs. And these carbs are dangerous because they break down into sugar. Again, they fuel hunger, they fuel weight gain, they wreak havoc on the pancreas and insulin production, and that's also why overweight cats are more likely to develop diabetes. So please stop feeding dry food. Dry food is also inappropriate for cats because of its low moisture content. High moisture food is absolutely necessary for cats. They rely on food for moisture, and that extra moisture is necessary for digestion, assimilation of nutrients, and your cat's bathroom habits. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up so that more cat parents that are feeding their cats dry food can see this video and stop doing it. Thank you so much. So your cat weight loss plan should include transitioning from dry food to either wet or raw food. Then after the transition, you can slowly decrease the amount of food that you're feeding. First, it's super important to get your cat onto better quality food before you reduce the amount of food fed. Another reason that kibble is bad for cats is because it's low in meat-based protein. So a lot of dry cat food brands, as I mentioned, they have to include carbs and starches, like peas, legumes, grains, all of that stuff binds the ingredients together. But cats can't use those ingredients. They need meat-based protein. If your cat is really, really picky about food, because let's be honest, most cats are, and you've tried wet food before, he wouldn't eat it, he only wants dry food, then I would suggest to you try an air-dried food or freeze-dried raw food. And instead of rehydrating it, just pretend that it's dry food because a lot of it looks very similar to the texture and the appearance. So your cat might think that it's dry food, especially if you just put it in the bowl and walk away. It's just like, don't hover over your cat, just pretend that it's dry food. He'll probably eat it without even realizing it. Now this only works if your cat's eating at scheduled mealtimes because a lot of cat parents also tell me, 
well, I tried the new food. He doesn't want to eat it. So then I cave and put down dry food. Your cat has to be used to eating at scheduled mealtimes because your cat will understand this is my food for this mealtime and I'm not going to eat again until the next mealtime. So I need to eat this so that I don't starve all day. So pretend that the air dried food or freeze dried raw food is dry kibble. You'll start with a very, very small amount and gradually increase the amount of the new food that you're feeding and slowly decrease the amount of the kibble that you're feeding every day. Once your cat starts getting adjusted to the freeze dried raw food, I'd suggest slowly rehydrating it day by day so that your cat can get used to the wet mushy texture because ideally you would feed either wet or raw that's full of moisture. Freeze-dried raw is definitely far superior to kibble, but it's still very low in moisture. So you'll want to rehydrate it with water so that your cat is getting his moisture from his food. If the pieces are super hard and crunchy like dry food, I'd suggest putting it through a blender to crush it down into dust basically, then put water in it, let it sit in the refrigerator for a few minutes so it can really soak up that moisture. And you would do that slowly, very gradually each day so your cat can get used to that texture. Another reason that cats are super picky about new food is that maybe you're feeding a fish flavor of food. Cats get very, very addicted to that fish flavor. So if your cat is one of those cats, I'd suggest just food for cats. This video is not sponsored, but there are affiliate links in the description. And I also reviewed that my mother's four cats tested just food for cats. So that's a separate video. I'll put that in the description as well. So you can use a food like that to get your cat off of the current food, get them used to eating better quality ingredients, and then you can continue to upgrade from there. Now, don't rely on fish flavored foods forever because you don't want to have a picky cat that just turns his nose up at new food whenever you try to offer it. So again, use it just in the transition to get him used to eating new, new food and better quality ingredients and then upgrade from there and introduce a variety of proteins. Now, once your cat is eating 100% fresh, wet, or raw food, then you can slowly decrease the amount of food that you're feeding. Now, an important note here, if your cat is severely overweight or obese, he shouldn't lose too much weight too quickly. He's at risk for fatty liver disease if he drops too many pounds too quickly. So a general rule of thumb is half a pound lost per month. But you'll have to confirm this with your cat's doctor just to make sure that he's not losing too much weight too quickly. So let's say your cat weighs 13 pounds and you want to get him down to 10 pounds. If we go by half a pound lost per month, that would be six months total. So month one, you would gradually decrease the amount of food that you're feeding until you reach what a 12 and a half pound cat would require. Month two, you work towards 12 pounds. Month three, you work towards 11 and a half pounds and so on. And I'd suggest weighing your cat weekly just to stay on top of how much weight he's losing and the amount of food that you're currently feeding to make sure that you're staying on track. Upgrading your cat's food will absolutely help, but exercise is important too. So I'd suggest playing with your cat every day and you can also harness train your cat to go outside safely. You can check out this video right over Meow to see how I harness train Jericho. Thanks for watching.